Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madam Shaza and I teach science for Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 at Sekolah Menengah Science Tuan Kumunawe. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about stereophonic hearing in animals. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain with examples the types of hearing in animals. You also should be able to communicate how sensory organs ensure the survival of animals on Earth. Like humans, animals also have a pair of ears. But what is the importance of having a pair of ears to humans and animals? The ability of animals to hear with two ears is called stereophonic hearing. This type of hearing is important to determine the direction and source of the sound. The ear closer to the source of the sound receives the sound slightly louder and earlier than the other ear. The brain will interpret these differences and enables the prey and predator to determine the direction of the sound accurately. Each organism has a different frequency of hearing. Sea lion may be able to hear sounds from 450 to 50,000 hertz of frequencies. Meanwhile, dolphins may be able to hear sounds from 40 to 100,000 hertz of frequencies. A dolphin does not have an external ear opening, but instead has a small opening behind the eye, which is not connected to the middle ear. The voice is transmitted to the inner ear by the fat lump located in the lower jaw and various bones in the skull. Despite of having huge ears, elephants are able to hear sounds from 16 to 12,000 hertz of frequencies. Dogs, in the other hand, are able to hear sounds from 67 to 45,000 hertz of frequencies. Bats can hear sounds from 2,000 to 110,000 hertz of frequencies. And rats are able to hear sound from 200 to 80,000 hertz of frequencies. Animals are also capable of detecting stimuli in the environment by using their sensory organs. The mechanisms and capabilities of each animal to respond are different. The South African hedgehog has small ears, but the hearing of these animals is quite sharp. When confronted with threats, it will erect its spines, which can vibrate to produce sound. Some of these spines are hollow and can produce sound when vibrating. When touched, the spines are fired at the enemy. Ramirezi is a very beautiful ornamental fish as its sparkling body radiates light. This fish has a modified muscles in its tail which can produce an electric field. The resulting electrical current can protect itself from predator fishes. Cockchafer secretes pheromones and leaves behind in the path of their movement. These pheromones will attract male cockchafer for mating purposes. The lateral line on the fish body can detect the water flow in their surroundings. This allows the fish to detect prey and avoid predators in their habitats. And cats use their whiskers to feel the changes in airflow around them. This ability helps the cat to move in the dark without knocking into an object, also to detect its prey. That's all for today. I hope to see you again in our next lesson.